Hello and welcome to Rutgers University Office of Student Legal Services podcast. My name is Tina Martins Cruz. I'm the director at the Office of Student Legal Services here at Rutgers University in New Brunswick. Today's episode will focus on international students and leasing. I will be offering tips and pointers and what to avoid to aid you in the process of looking for off-campus housing. International students are often faced with having to look for housing while not in the U.S. and rely on advertisements for rentals that are placed on popular student websites and social media. Oftentimes, these ads have inaccurate information and pictures, and students sign leases and pay deposits or sometimes a whole year of rent relying on this false information. When students arrive in the U.S., they encounter a dwelling completely different from what was advertised. Students then are legally bound by the leases they signed and cannot terminate the lease or get their money back. Students can avoid this and protect themselves by having their leases reviewed prior to signing to make sure they're legitimate and legally sound. We offer this service through the Student Legal Services Office by qualified attorneys at no cost to students. Appointments can be made via the link provided. Students should avoid signing leases without physically inspecting the property first. If that's not possible, students should ask the landlord for references of prior and or current tenants to verify what the landlord is telling them. They can also ask the landlord to provide a live video tour of the dwelling so that they can see for themselves. If the landlord is unwilling to provide either references or a live video tour, be careful with signing leases or paying deposits. Students can verify whether the property and landlord is registered with the Rutgers Off-Campus Housing Office. The Rutgers Off-Campus Housing Office is a useful resource for students to look for housing and they can provide information regarding landlords and who to avoid. You can visit the Rutgers Off-Campus Housing Office via the link provided to get more information. Students can also verify if the landlord and property is properly registered with the Rent Control Board in the city that they are looking to rent. In New Brunswick, the Rent Control Board can be accessed via the link provided. International students often fall prey to request to sign leases quickly and pay a whole year's rent up front. Because there's a high demand for off-campus housing, students are often scared they won't find housing if they don't act quickly and comply with all the requests made of the landlord. This is largely in part because the international students are not familiar with the laws in the U.S. and their rights as tenants in New Jersey. Also because there is often no credit history that the landlord can rely on, they deem international students a risk. Students can avoid this by having their leases reviewed prior to signing them and prior to paying any deposits. Students can also negotiate other viable alternatives with the landlord when there is no credit history, such as having a guarantor sign the lease with you. Guarantor is someone who is legally responsible for the rent payments if the tenant defaults. Having a guarantor is an option to alleviate the risk to landlords and the financial burden to students for having to pay a full year's rent up front. Students can also assure landlords regarding the stringent financial requirements that they need to meet in order to get a student visa to live and study in the U.S. I hope these tips are helpful and that I've provided you with some useful information. Here are some links to resources that you can access for more information. And should you have any more questions or need a lease reviewed, please do not hesitate to contact our office. We are here to help you and we look forward to you coming to Rutgers. Thank you.